Hey up, it's Louise. I have got some very belated empties to show you. I do one of these in, I usually do them every three months. I didn't do one in March. And I'm surprised I've not used up more products than this. I must be like on the dregs of dregs of dregs on stuff. Uh, yeah, not a lot. I chose on one at the end of June and I fell by the wayside because of who I am as a person. Uh, so I've got a few bits and I'll talk you through them. And then I'm gonna go put them in the recycling, either in the recycling at my home if I can, or the like cosmetic recycling at my local Boots because they have one of those at Boots, which is very handy. Uh, so, my first one, I really liked this. I didn't think it was good enough um, to fake an ad like Yuan did. Uh, it's the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift Mascara. Also, I apologise for my nails. Um, I painted them matte black to go see Avril Lavigne on the 3rd of July and it's it ain't coming off and I also can't be asked taking it off but yeah I went to see Avril Lavigne so I was like I gotta have matte black nails because that's punk rock um a crocheted a tie for me and one for my partner and uh wore like a biblically accurate cosplay of like uh <laughs> I love calling it biblically accurate um like cargo pants like camo cargo pants and a white vest and the tie and it was a stun uh yeah I really like this I feel like it's like very expensive though I say very expensive. I usually buy like the Essence mascaras that are like three, four pounds. I feel like it was like 11 quid, but I did like it. The brush was really nice. Um, and yeah, when I wear this, well, when I would wear it, my partner would be like, your eyelash is really good today. So I could repurchase actually. My eyelashes did look really good. The mascara that I'm using at the minute, I really don't like. So I might buy this once I finish that one as a little treat for slogging through the one that I don't like very much. I think I cut off the brand of this, but it was from Mediflower. Uh, it was a collagen wrinkle eye cream. Don't know if that means it gives you wrinkles or takes them away. It was really big for an eye cream. I really scraped everything out of here as well. It was all right. I use an eye cream. So I've got cat hair on me. I use an eye cream because I think I should, and I don't know if they really do anything, but I like using them. I just feel like it's nice. A nice little step i do have quite a few eye creams to get through don't know if i would rebuy but i was just on like a yes style hype at the time because it's a korean brand it was quite nice though 40 mil that's a lot of eye cream it took me a while to get through that i liked it another eye product i genuinely have been working on this for oh thank god it says 12 months on the back um but i've been using it for about 14 months this revolution Caffeine Solution and Hyaluronic Acid Under Eye Serum. You have 30 mil, which is actually loads, uh, because you only really use a tiny little bit, like I'll tap it in like with my ring fingers, like under the eyes. And I just finished this this morning, so I was like, finally, I can stick it in the video, because I've been waiting. I've been finishing it off for about a month. It has been never ending. I don't even know if they still make this, but uh, my friend bought it and was like, oh, I don't like it, do you want it? And I said, Yes, of course I do, because I'll take out, out for now, uh, I am a true Yorkshire girl, out for now, etc, etc. I liked it. Again, don't really know what it did, um, but now I don't have it. Let's see if my under eyes look way worse. Uh, <laughs> they, I, I feel like they just, they look fine, usually. Uh, who knows, maybe they'll get way worse and I have to buy some more. This, again, was from one of my many guest style hauls that I do is Cosrx BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Uh, it was nice. This liquid helps to remove oil and deeply cleanse while moisturizing the skin to make the pores appear smaller. Was I using this right? Yeah, no, I was. I was thinking, it's not a cleanser, is it? No, I think it's a toner. Uh, yeah, it was okay. I don't really think it removed my blackheads. And frankly, I don't really get that many blackheads. So I bought this and I I think I should have bought the snail mucin because people love the snail mucin. It was fine. It was just fine. I'd probably get the snail mucin next time though. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. Um, this I buy from like, you know, like a savers. You know, like savers or body care or like a B&M. Um, it is like the off brand. It's got lots of fluff on it. Where has this been? Uh, it's the off brand like CeraVe 
I think. Is it CeraVe? Yeah, CeraVe. The ceramides. And this costs like two quid uh, for <laughs> this cleanser. I like it a lot. It is very gentle and it's got a little bit of foaming to it, but not too much. Uh, anyway, I absolutely go through these like nobody's business. These ones were on sale. I remember buying a few of the small ones because they were on sale in B&M for like some ridiculous price. I felt they were like a pound or something. Um, so I bought loads of them. But I usually get the big ones, but the big ones weren't on sale. But it was a better deal to get like three of the small ones rather than one of the big ones. I love this stuff. It's very good. It's a very cheap cleanser. I don't really see the need for an expensive cleanser like i might be wrong but i just think it's on my skin for such little time i just want it to sort of cleanse i don't know if like the active ingredients in it actually work or whatever i just want to be gentle and clean off my makeup i'll usually use like an oil cleanser if i'm wearing makeup and then one like that just to get the rest of it away and it, it does the job I feel like I can hear the cat scruffling around because I left the door to the attic open and Treacle's been like up and down crying uh, but yeah maybe I'm just imagining it uh, this I bought this oh god there's still product in it but it's all dried up um, do you want to see it it's really gross it's all dried um, <laughs> but I'm counting it as a win I bought this when I first got my mullet in November 2020 to November 2022 when I first got my mullet uh, to use it to style it. It was the Shockwaves Messy Matte Clay Remoldable. It was absolutely fine. I bought it from, again, I think it was a Savers. I love Savers. You can buy like your hair dye and your makeup and also uh, Lambrini. It's wonderful in there. I love Savers, but the one in Sheffield's like I think there's one in Hillsborough, but the one that's in town, it's in a bit where I'm like, I'm not going there because there's nothing else there. But when Wilco's used to be there, I would go Wilco's, then I'd go Savers. I love Savers. This was unremarkable. It worked. I have no brand loyalty to Weller. I bought a different one because I couldn't find this one and that one works just as well. I just use like a matte clay in my hair. Um, and you'll probably be thinking, no, she doesn't because it looks a mess, but I've not styled it today. <laughs> I just need to I need to do something with it. I really need a haircut. It's getting too too long, too long on the sides. I really need a haircut. I'll book that in. That's my job. My last thing, I found this last bottle of CBD oil uh, that I'd not opened and I thought, I'll give it another go. Um, and it... Oh, for me, it did nothing. It did nothing. I might film a video like talking about it, but I personally think it's a bit of a placebo effect. If it works for you, then really good. But my my mental illness and like crippling period pain cannot be <laughs> eased <laughs> with a little aesthetic mat pink thing of oil um didn't work did not work at all um but it was cute though i do still like the drinks if i go somewhere and i'm not drinking and they have the trip drinks i will still get them because they taste really nice the one that's like basil and mint or something that one's really tasty but i don't really see what they do to relax me i am naturally a very anxious and hyper alert person and I just don't think it does anything but if it works for you then it works for you but for me it's a miss and uh it was a waste of bloody money <laughs> that's it all my empties i don't have that many this this month it's been a long time why have i not used up more products get a grip girl get a grip you need to use more or not because that's wasteful anyway i will see you on the next one goodbye guys <laughs>